Welcome to the VegTrug Mini build video. Inside the box you will find the following pieces. Please note the direction of the legs in order to start. The cross member features a distinctive groove which must point upwards when fitted. Slot the legs and the cross member together as shown. Proceed to use a bolt, washer and nut to fit them together, ensuring that for now they're only tightened by hand. Please leave them loose as this is very important for the build later on. Attach the other leg to the cross member. It should look like this and repeat the previous steps to finish the legs. Next, fit the centerpiece. It will slot into the upward facing grooves like so. Proceed to screw all four screws in at this stage. After this, take the side panel and lower it into place. The bottom should rest like so and the top should look like this. Repeat this for both sides. Now you can fit the V-shaped end panels. They will slot into place like so. Proceed to screw in the four screws on each end. This can be done from the inside. Now take the VegTruck branded faceboard and mount it to the front like so. Screw the four screws in to the pre-drilled holes. The non-branded but equally sized backboard can now be fitted on the opposite side in exactly the same way. The next stage is to square up the front, back and end V-boards until they're flush and screw the four screws into the pre-drilled holes. The loose leg bolts, which you left before, will ensure that everything fits flush and square and you can screw it all together at this stage. Afterwards, screw in the longer screw into the pre-drilled hole at the base of the V-shaped end board. The last construction step after this is to tighten the leg bolts with a wrench. Please ensure that you do not over tighten the leg bolts, it's not necessary. Now you can place the preform liner into the veg truck. The liner has a drawstring which you can pull tight around the upper outside of the veg truck whilst you're filling the liner with soil. The drawstring is designed to hold it in place during this process. After the soil has been placed into the veg truck, you can undo the drawstring and tuck the liner back down inside the veg truck. Do not leave it flapping over the edge of the veg truck. It looks ugly and it will degrade in the weather. Congratulations, you've built your mini veg truck. Please enjoy it and see what you can grow.